Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, yeah, and I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea transfer news video. Mm. Some new headlines regarding Jadon Sancho and Wilfred Zaha have come out, and aging Chelsea winger, yet important Chelsea winger, Willian has come out with some comments regarding his future at Chelsea or a potential transfer out of Stamford Bridge. Lots of important stuff to discuss, all generally regarding Chelsea's wing, because remember, it's pretty much known that Pedro is on his way out if not in January certainly in the summer and everything hangs in the balance regarding Willian at the moment so it's a certainty that Chelsea will need a new wide winger inverted forward attacking midfielder kind of vibe and of course it's only about two weeks till Chelsea hear back regarding their hearing with Cass or their appeal to Cass about their transfer ban. So it's all go regarding Chelsea and transfer news. Before we do get into today's video, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy, click the bell notifications icon, like the video, help a man out, and also check out my sister gaming channel, Yan Plays. Link in the top of the description. Click that, check it out, wicked. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Right then, before we talk about Wilfred Zaha and Jadon Sancho as possible suitors for Chelsea and actually targeted suitors from Chelsea, let's talk about the Brazilian winger Willian. Frank Lampard loves Willian. He speaks very highly of him ever since he's arrived at Chelsea as a coach. Obviously, Willian has not penned a new contract and his contract runs out in six months. Frank Lampard has made it very clear to Chelsea Football Club that he's actually desperate to keep Willian at Stamford Bridge. Of course, we heard him say to the media how important he is, how he's been Chelsea's best player at times, and to be fair, as much as Willian can frustrate fans a lot of the time, you can see how much of the game goes through him at the moment and his industry doesn't stop from minute 1 to minute 90. So of course, he's very very important, but fans also understand that he isn't the future of the club. He's into his 30s now and Frank Lampard's Chelsea as a whole is generally a young, high octane, direct style of football. So you'd understand from a managerial perspective how he'd want security going forward in the immediate sense by keeping Willian. But Willian has not signed a new contract or the terms have not been met by Chelsea Football Club. Apparently, Willian is desperate to stay himself but needs his terms met so that he can feel secure and comfortable remaining in SW6. Remember as well, he is a restaurant in London, he's raised both his daughters in London, his wife's in London, he loves living in London. When Willian was questioned about his current contract negotiation situation, he said, I feel happy to play for this club, but the situation is not in my hands, it's in theirs, as in Chelsea Football Club. They already know what I want, so I just wait for them. Willian has nearly been at Chelsea for seven years now. That's a long time. Obviously, because his contract is nearly run out, he's eligible to start talking to other clubs in January to negotiate a move for the summer. But apparently, Willian is refusing to do so due to his love for Chelsea Football Club. Commenting on this, Willian said, I don't want to talk to them because I have a contract until the end of the season. I'm happy here. So, to reiterate some of the stuff Frank Lampard's been saying about Willian since he arrived and how important he sees him at Chelsea Football Club, Frank Lampard was quoted, I know his qualities from playing with him. I want to see him happy. He's an easygoing lad who loves his football. Football. He's been huge for me. His off the ball work has been outstanding and an example to the young lads. I love him at this football club, so there's my answer. So not only is his industry been good on the pitch, Willian is actually acting as a mentor to the younger players, apparently. The Brazilian commented on this, I feel young. Every day they learn with me and I learn with them. Chelsea always want to win something. In the past we have done that. And now we want to do that again with these new young players. Right, so there you have it. Frank Lampard loves him and wants him to stay. Willian loves Chelsea and wants to stay, but there's a contract situation. Obviously, Chelsea are reluctant to pay a 31-year-old whatever money or give him whatever contract. They've been breaking their over 30 rule more and more recently, but maybe Willian's trying to push that rule a little bit too much? Maybe. Lampard and Willian would both be happy for him to sign whatever contract, but it really is probably up to the club now. I imagine they'd be happy to give him an 18-month contract, decent money still, he might be asking for more. That's only speculation. Now, Chelsea can get a talented replacement that doesn't necessarily have to be the same age as all the other kids in the starting 11. Enter the next story, Wilfried Zaha. A recurring theme in Chelsea transfer news because a legitimate Chelsea target. For a long time, Chelsea have looked at Wilfried Zaha and thought, yeah, even if he's not an Ed Nazard replacement, he's certainly a very talented, tricky winger that's got loads of Premier League experience and knows how to play against Premier League opposition. There is a very strong 
strong argument that if you put Zaha in a more talented passing team and out of that, no disrespect to Crystal Palace, they're a very solid established Premier League team, but it's a very different style to what say Zaha would be playing in this Chelsea side. And you'd imagine with a little bit more decent interchanging and coaching in the Chelsea way, remember he's not being coached to play in his way at Palace, if that makes sense. His talents would flourish better at Chelsea Football Club with those players, but being coached by Frank Lampard and Jody Morris that would actually want to enforce the way he plays. Kind of nurture it, you know? And Zaha's what, 27? So sure he's not as young as teenage Jadon Sancho or any other up and coming super young winger in Europe, but maybe he's got a good four years of solid Premier League playtime in him, you know? Willian is going on 32, so already he's four or five years older than Wilfred Zaha. That might be putting in a younger, more effective version, provided he's playing in the right team. Zaha's numbers are never great, by the way. But again, you'd assume they'd get better at Chelsea. But could Zaha also act as that sort of senior player in the squad? For me, I'm not sure. The psychology of Zaha is always one of sort of frustration, throwing his arms up in the air. People brand him as a diver. I'm not sh gonna comment on that. Although I don't doubt Wilfred Zaha's ability at all, I'm just not sure he'd be the right purchase for Chelsea, even though he's a legitimate target for Chelsea. Still, if Crystal Palace are willing to lower their price more and more and more, and other alternatives look ridiculously expensive, it would certainly be an interesting player to see come with the club. And you know what, if coach Frank Lampard fancies him, see what you can do with him. Right, let's move on to the final story of today's Chelsea transfer news video and talk about, yep, Jadon Sancho. So, Sancho's relationship with Dortmund has got pretty funny of late. He felt scapegoated after the loss to Bayern Munich and he was upset with the club of how they've been recently treating him. He was benched for their game against Barcelona and uh, he came on and looked amazing, scored a goal, nearly scored two goals was a completely different dynamic on the ball and instead of getting pumped whatever they would have got pumped by Barca you know he scored a goal and made the scoreline look not as bad kind of looks like they should have started him still the new story is he's once out essentially he's had a good time over there he's developed really really well and he wants a move I doubt that it'd be in January unless the club are really unhappy with him but certainly in the summer apparently everyone wants him and you could understand that but I don't think personally the Spanish giants would go for him in Barcelona and Real Madrid maybe in a couple of years if he develops even more at another club and they just come in with a huge bid Barcelona have got Usman, Dembele, Griezmann they've still got Suarez and Messi and you know they've got other players they've probably got their eyes on of course Real Madrid have got Hazard and Bale but they've also got Vinicius Jr and Rodrigo Ego, they've got loads of players. I'm not sure he'd go to Bayern Munich because their young wingers are looking better and better. Really, the only thing I can think of is a return to the Premier League. He will have a very difficult time breaking into the front three of Liverpool. Mane and Salah are both in their prime and I don't see them shifting and allowing him to come in for a starting spot. Similar with Manchester City. You could make an argument for City if Sane goes to Bayern Munich that he could fill that void as a winger, but still, they've still got Sterling, Mahrez, Bernardo Silva that all play on the flanks and really, he left England to get away from Manchester City because he wasn't getting the game time. So would he want to go back? I don't think he'd go to Tottenham because he's a boyhood Chelsea fan. I don't know if that means much these days, but also I'm not sure he'd want to play under Jose Mourinho. Plus Tottenham won't give him the money he wants. To be honest, in reality, especially considering where Arsenal are at the moment, it's really only two destinations for me that make the most sense. And that is Manchester United and Chelsea Football Club. Sure, he's a Chelsea fan and the project looks good at Chelsea Football Club, but Chelsea paying a lot for players and negotiating can often be frustrating. Manchester United will do whatever they can to sign them. They'll give them loads and loads of money. Uh, there's a still a lot of prestige of the Manchester United shirt, even if they've been bad for a few years now. He might be sold an idea of a new Man United with loads of money, buying loads of Galacticos, playing attacking football. I'm sure he's good mates with Rashford maybe or a couple of other youngsters in there that he's played with at England youth level But he's closer mates with people at Chelsea like he's really good friends of Hudson Adoy He grew up in the same ends as Tammy Abraham grew up idolizing Frank Lampard Still the story is that there's gonna be a bidding war and the starting price is a hundred million I saw a headline about a hundred million and I thought oh that would be cheap considering but apparently that's the starting price So Chelsea would have to go in with the likes of Manchester United who I imagine would pay the most money 
and he might just be happy to come back to the Premier League and earn a massive contract. Therefore, seeing Jadon Sancho go to Manchester United. Watch this space, I'll keep you guys updated on all the transfer stories regarding Chelsea and the court of arbitration of sport. Easy for me to say, hearing and appeal. If you've enjoyed the content, guys, please do like the video. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to Yan Plays, link in the top of the description. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby